This video is for providers who are using ModMed or who are planning to use ModMed. This is the second part of our ModMed tutorial series. In our previous video, we discussed about the user interface of the ModMed. In this video, we will learn how to do patient registration, how to do patient scheduling, how to add insurance to the patient account. You will also uncover many features that you have never used before. After watching this tutorial series, you will be able to use the ModMed more efficiently. I am an industry leading expert with experience of 10 years in medical billing. In the end of the video, I will share with you my professional tip and secret that builders usually don't share with anyone that will help you become more profitable. Let us start with our first section. Patient entry is the most ignored thing in billing, but it is the most crucial thing. If you do correctly, you will not have to see any rejections and save time which you generally spend on rejection related to eligibility. Let's start with the patient registration, how we can register a patient. If we come to the home page, you will see here there is a new patient tab. We can click new patient to register the new patient or we can go to the patients tab and click register patient. Both of them will take you to the same patient registration. Let us click on this one. Now this page is open. This is a patient registration form where we have four sections. One is patient information, one is required for meaningful use, one is patient referral source and link accounts. We have to fill this form. To get your claims to be paid faster, we need to make as less error as possible while doing patient registration in the ModMed. So less error means more clean claims and better flow. So it is important to do the quality patient data entry. If you are thinking about outsourcing, you get it done from the professional who has 10 years of experience. For only 3% of the collection, call us today. Let's suppose our patient has first name, first name, last name, last name, MRN number or something like anything, okay? Uh, social security number as anything. If you are creating the patient's entry before the patient visit, the last visit date will be empty. If the patient has already visited us and now we are registering the patient after the patient visit, then we will put the last visit date over here. Then the second section is a meaningful use section. Here we will uh, put the patient date of birth, patient's gender, that is female, male and unknown. And then the language, choose the language of the patient from here. Then we can choose the race of the patient from over here. We can also go with unspecified or we can leave it blank. If you note here the red asterisk sign, all those are the important fields that is required to be filled. Other fields we can leave it blank. Ethnic group we can choose from here or we can leave it blank. The patient referral source. This is very important. When the patient is coming to you, what is the source from where the patient is coming to you? For example, the patient has been referred to you from the attorney clinic, existing patient, Facebook, Google, or is it from another patient's referral? So we can choose the other patient's name who has sent this patient to us. Word of mouth is also here. This is not an important field, but it is very good to uh, note down from where the patient is coming to you. We can link an account to this patient. If the patient has a relative that is already our patient, we can link their account to this account. Okay. After filling all the forms, we will click here to save. After saving the patient, the patient account will open itself and you will see here the patient's last name, first name. All the information of the patient is showing here. This is the PMS ID. Uh, it is unique ID to the patient for each and every patient. So that is generated by the modman itself. So this is the MRN number that we have manually entered into the patient's account. This is the patient home tab. Under the home tab, you will see here the location uh, on which the patient has come to see us. The location of the practice that will be showing here. If you go to the drop down, it will show all other locations as well. This is just a summary page of the patient, which is showing the balance, appointments, insurance information, whatever the insurance uh, we have for the member, it will show here. And then there is uh, recent billing notes. Suppose if you have uh, put a billing note for the patient, 
right so next time when someone is uh, opening the patient's account the billing note will show here okay if there is any appointment for the patient that is recent or upcoming it will show up over here okay bottom is the financial how much is the current responsibility like what is the outstanding amount how much is the copay this is the patient total balance which is very important if we have the patient's multiple claims and uh, the total balance will show here for of all the claims that is outstanding which may be we need from the insurance or which may be we need to take from the patient so all the balance of the patient will show over here we can add the note over here also we can add the insurance policy from here also for example we need to make the new appointment for the patient we can click the appointment finder and see the schedule of the provider or uh, with whom the patient need to be scheduled and then we will uh, give the appointment slot to this patient and this is the view history where we will see what were the last appointments uh, from the patient okay the second tab here is contact information in the contact information whatever the data we have seen for the patient all the data will be shown here for example our last name first name middle name everything is showing here driving license number what is the state uh, what is the marital status right whatever the information we have registered for the member uh, it will show here okay so this is the patient information section where you can update the information or change the information or add the information of the patient when doing the patient entry please make sure patient policy is active and also try to capture as much as information possible in patient account for example social security number group number employer's name dependent information and patient alternate phone number etc all those information like email address how the patient needed uh, need to be contacted like phone email portal how the patient uh, want us to contact them all the information need to be captured in the patient account current address we can put the current address information over here this is started and that uh, end date meaning the patient was active on this address from this date to this date then this was the previous address and what was the date when the patient was living there so these are the dates of that and this is the employment status very important if the patient is working in our company we can put the employer's name here and this is the employment status of the patient this is uh, like occupation uh, for example our patient is doing here a woodworker so we can choose that then what industry so we can choose that and then we will click save to update or add the information now third tab on the patient's field is guarantor so the guarantor information can be uh, put here if the patient is same we can click a same as patient right so all the fields uh, will be not show sure here okay so if the patient is self we can choose self here right all the fields will be gone uh, we can put here self and then we can click save it is not possible for the provider to maintain focus on billing and practice on the same time. Also, hiring an in-house billing staff will cost you four times than of outsourcing. In total, you will be spending around 10 to 15 percent of your net collection if you are trying to do your billing in-house. If you outsource to us, we just take three to four percent of your collection and done and our performance speed and collection is much higher than your in-house billing staff the next tab here is appointment history so there is nothing showing in the appointment history here right now because there are no upcoming appointments if there are upcoming appointments then it will show here if there are any outstanding recalls uh, it can show here right uh, what are the past appointments that the patient has it can show over here okay if you want to give the patient a new appointment we can click here appointment finder and we can find our appointment for the patient okay how we can do that uh, what is the location of the practice where the patient need to go right we can choose from the drop down here we can choose a provider whom the patient want to see uh, what's the you know patient type for example here is authorized procedure blind procedure fluoro guided procedure follow up video visit in person follow up and new patient for example i want to uh, give an appointment to the patient as a new patient let me click here new patient 
and time preferences you can go with morning evening or any time right so we can search that now schedule preferencing first available specific days starting so now we can go by search it will search all the appointments that are available for that provider on that location we can choose that appointment to you know schedule that appointment for this patient and you can click here show more appointments it will show you more appointments in the following days and you can also click on view in schedule now when you come to the schedule page uh, you will see here all the schedule are free for the doctor okay all the schedule for the doctor for Wednesday April 10 2024 it's free so I can you know take any appointment over here I just need to click that appointment time if we click on this one we can change the appointment time here okay we if we move it over here the appointment time is changed to 8 10 to 8 40 8 20 to uh, 8 10 and so on so it, it has a 10 minutes of interval for example uh, I want my patient to be seen at 10 p.m. to 10 30 p.m. then I create appointment here okay after clicking create appointment it will show you like this it will show you last name first name of the member date of birth and it, is, it will be saying here the appointment schedule for the member on April 10 2024 at 10 p.m. and you can reschedule the appointment of course it's a new patient type and uh, the status is pending confirmed arrived check-in so for this sec from this section you can also check in the patient as well okay these are the status of the patient uh, we can also write the reason of the visit for the uh, member we can upload the photo for the member from the webcam from the file or existing attachment and this is reserve resources if we want uh, something to be reserved for this patient we can do it for example we can reserve a parking lot a room or something can be reserved for the patient over here this is the appointment notes that we can put over here of course this is a referral source from where the patient is coming this is a link account uh, which we already discussed you can also add the additional provider who can see the patient over here okay this is the ordering provider okay so you can search the ordering provider the list will come here the provider who is ordering uh, can be chosen over here you can click same as referring provider and also you can mention here the primary care provider as well and what is the last seen date with the primary care provider you can put it over here red asterisk sign means it's important yeah the payment method now if the patient has auto insurance pip or worker comp or medical insurance you can select the payment method over here if the patient is a self-pay patient you can click that over here as well and this is the reason why the visit is going on for example here is medical non-emergency medical emergency auto accident pip cosmetic services worker comp others and here it will show the active patient policies medicaid of oregon is a secondary and there is a primary insurance okay this is the card image it will show over here okay after filling all the information we have to click start check-in and the patient will be scheduled and checked in for the appointment also want to focus here on the appointment change history okay for example this patient uh, was created on this date and this time and then the patient arrived on the same date and the patient was checking afterwards okay so this is a appointment history of the patient okay next tab is insurance in the insurance tab we can add the new policy if, if we are adding the first insurance it will automatically take as primary policy if you are adding the insurance second time it will automatically show you uh, secondary medical policy these are the type of insurance that we can add for our patient for auto pip or worker comp for example i have already added bcbs uh, for this patient with the policy id this and group id this and this 
For example, I need to add one more policy. How can I add the insurance policy? Let us see that here. Now I'm adding the secondary policy. We can search the insurance name. For example, I chose Medicaid of Oregon. Okay, then I can put on the policy number for the Medicaid. Then I can, you know, tell what type of insurance it is. It is a Medicaid policy, okay? And then we can put here a note if we want to. This is a group number, which is very important. Then, is the signature is on file? It is always yes. Now, what is the relationship to the policy holder? It is self. As I stated earlier, the eligibility of the patient can be run from the MoDMED directly. So you can click check eligibility, it will run the current eligibility for the member in the software itself. If you have checked the eligibility of the member, you can just put here the policy effective date and date which is important. And then you can put here how much is the copy amount. Now if you have the patient's insurance card, you can upload the patient's ID card front and back over here. If it is already uh, there, it will show here. Okay. Now here we can put the peer contact information. One is a customer service number. We can add it. One is the claims uh, number. We can add it. One is a pre-certification number for the insurance. We can add it. What is the appeal phone number or address? Okay. For example, if you want to add the claims address and the contact information of the insurance manually you can add it over here and done when you add the information from here manually the claim will go on paper not on electronic to be noted okay then we can click here to save now uh, we see here after saving uh, the primary is VCB, secondary is Medicaid of Oregon with this ID. Now these are the active policy. For example, if any of the policy of the member become inactive or is not in use, it will show under the archive policy tab. This is how you add the insurance information. Double checking your patient data that you have entered to create a patient account is a good practice that we billers use. Now, this is time to disclose my professional tip. Usually, doctor asks me, what is the secret behind your clean claim ratio being so high? I just say I'm more dedicated towards medical billing. But in reality, the secret is we are a billing company. We do patient entry with high accuracy. That's why the clean claim ratio is so high. Also, our employees accuracy are also monitored and tracked for patient entry that is why we get best in class clean claim ratio in our next video we will see how to add charges procedure code diagnosis code and other things including modifier in modmed thanks for watching if you want us to work on your billing, we provide billing service for only 3 to 4% of the collection, depending upon the practice size. We can ask for a maximum 4%. If you don't want to outsource your billing and you have 18 claims that need to be followed up, we also provide air follow up service for only $1 per claim. If you want to hire per hour basis, our billers and AR team is available to be hired for only $5 per hour. Best part is, we do overnight claim submission for faster claims payment. No need to sign any contract with us. If you're satisfied, then only pay us. So no obligations, no hidden cost. If you feel my content is relevant to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for latest updates. Click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.